Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? I am still here in the door, getting loaded. Three hours later from my Facebook post and just to be completely honest with you, I walked in and uh, you know, asked them what the what the weight was because they had originally put me in a door and they told me to uh, move out of the door because they had some other trucks coming in there and my load was not ready yet. Okay, that happens sometimes. But uh, after after three hours sitting there, uh, I walked back in the office and asked what the uh, what the issue was, and the issue appeared to be that the machine was broke down. That uh, I'm only carrying back some. Uh, basically some cardboard that was uh, kind of pre-cut and stuff for a certain facility. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I've never been there. But um, they told me the machine was down. And I probably would not get loaded today. And as you well know that <laughs> with the Christmas right tomorrow, Christmas Eve... Not a lot of hope not a lot of places are working so i reached out to my folks and uh told them what i was told and poof it was like baby jesus just came down and and fixed the machine because within like 15 minutes of that message they uh they called me back in the door and said my load was ready but when I had originally walked in, you had, I don't know how many people was working. I saw six people standing around the machine uh, just laughing. Of course, it may have been their break. It may have been whatever it may have been. I'm just telling you what I saw. And that's when the gentleman told me that uh, the machine was broken down currently. So it looks like there is going to be a Christmas miracle, maybe, depending on how long it takes them to get me loaded. Because right now, I'm six hours from the house, and I have about six hours and ten minutes uh, left on my drive time. So, we'll see how it works out, you know. We'll see how it works out. I might be sitting in the door for 10 more minutes. And I may be sitting in the door for a couple more hours. Um, I will get attention pay for as long as I've sat here. Um, so, but that's just trucking. You know, that's the frustrating thing about trucking that, that you come to live with and to be honest with you, this company has spoiled me more than I'm used to just because I'm not used to being home. And when they tell me I'll get home, usually I always get home. And I usually get home every weekend plus one or two days a week with this company. But, you know, I'm just the kind of person that when, when something's to be expected like being home with the family on Christmas. Um, and something like this happens. I get it. Things happen. And people still need their, their product that they, that they got to ship out stuff with after Christmas. So, it's just the nature of the business. So, I'll give you an update. Let you know on uh, what happened if I made it home or not. You guys have a great day, and uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family, and a very prosperous New Year. All right, guys, this is trucking. That's how it is. Shot the video earlier.
when I got in there. So now we are right at six hours in the door. I feel like the old reefer days. Hauling refrigerated stuff, that was very, very common for you to be in the door for, uh, you know, four to six hours. But, uh, yeah, this kind of caught me off guard, especially trying to get home for Christmas. And I only have a couple, uh, three hours left to drive on my clock and I got six hours to get home. So it doesn't appear that I'll be getting home tonight, but uh, that's just trucking. That's how it goes sometimes.